Okay, so uh, I'm here from the Wikimount Wikimedia Foundation from San Francisco, and uh, Bastian asked me to give a, a brief overview of the work in public outreach that we've been doing at the foundation, uh, which is the international organization that works with chapters like Wikimedia France. Um, so, uh, first, uh, what what is public outreach as the foundation sees it? Um, well, we have, we've just recently completed a strategic plan uh, in the last year where we had input from uh, about a thousand of our volunteers, uh, many, many different people with different perspectives on Wikipedia, and came up with a, uh, uh, the Wikimedia movement, and came up with a pretty clear articulation of what our big goals are over the next five years. Um, and so the, the portions of that that apply to public outreach, uh, the, the the main directive from that is that we need to increase the size, uh, the health, and the diversity of our contributor base. Um, and, then, and within the organization of the Wikimedia Foundation, we're aligned with the community department, which also deals with, uh, with fundraising, because we're, we see uh, the, the desire to make a contribution to the Wikimedia movement as being uh, it's, it's really the same thing whether you're contributing money or you're contributing your time. Uh, either way, it's, it's reflecting uh, that, you, that you place value on the Wikimedia mission and that you want to make a contribution to it. Um, but as the, the, the Wikimedia Foundation is a very small organization that came into existence uh, well after the, the movement had already been established, uh, it's, it's really not our role to, uh, to lead um, more, it's more to, more to follow. So, um, what we what we try to do in every outreach initiative is to support and you know fertilize and interact with the volunteer community um, and support the kind of work that they're doing in in outreach. Um, the 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 key initiatives that we've been working on uh, recently include the Wikipedia Public Policy Initiative, which is uh, an effort to uh, work on the notion of using Wikipedia as a teaching tool in higher education and uh, work in a, uh, in a uh, small subject area to explore the possibilities there. Uh, the Bookshelf Project, which is an effort to produce materials both online and in print uh, that can be used to introduce Wikipedia and contributing to it and using it in different ways to different kinds of audiences. Uh, and also the Account Creation Improvement Project, uh, which is a new project to, uh, to Make it, make it easier to create an account on Wikipedia and to get started editing that way. Uh, and this, this URL that's on the screen right now, outreach.wikimedia.org, that has links to just about everything I'll be talking about in the presentation, so you may want to make a note of that. Um, so first, the Wikipedia Public Policy Initiative. Uh, this, as I said, it's, a, it's an effort to explore using Wikipedia as a teaching tool. Uh, so it's a 17-month uh, pilot project uh, we're about halfway through it right now. It's running from May to September of next year, May of last year to September of next year. Um, and the, the core of it is the two semesters of this current academic year. Uh, so in the, in the fall semester, we've worked with classes at 13 different U.S. universities. Uh, I believe we'll be working with about 30 in the spring semester. Uh, and uh, there, there, there are two links here that'll uh, show you the, an overview of the project. Uh, and then the workspace that's being used uh, by the participants in the project on Wikipedia. Uh, the goals of the project are to encourage the use of Wikipedia as a teaching tool, uh, but more than that, to facilitate dialogue among the various different stakeholders, meaning the Wikipedians who want to be more engaged with, with academics, uh, the professors who want to provide a better learning environment for their students, the students who maybe want to contribute to, want to become Wikipedians or contribute to a project like Wikipedia. Um, we're also uh, putting a strong focus on researching the impacts both on the, the quality of Wikipedia and also on the teaching and learning in the classroom. Uh, and documenting the practices that, uh, that come out of the process. And again, uh, in everything that we, that we do in this project, we're trying to make a, a swift handoff of ownership of the project to the volunteers that are engaged with it. Um, 
and that's specifically the uh, there's there's an ambassador program uh, that that has Wikipedians and students working to support professors in introducing classes to working on Wikipedia. Uh, and that program uh, we've established. There's a steering committee which is currently composed of three people, three staff members, and four uh, volunteers. And the idea is that that would become the body that carries that uh, that program forward in the future. Um, I want to just break away from the slide for, show for just a moment uh, to give you a, a quick look at one of the articles. Um, so just to give you an idea of the kind of thing that's happening in this project, uh, this is one of the articles that a student has worked on this semester and I'm just going to quickly show you, this is the article before she worked on it. This is the Food Quality Protection Act which is a big piece of legislation in the US. Uh, and before she worked on the article you can see it just had a few uh, short paragraphs of introduction and a sort of unexplained list of the specific requirements of the bill. So, you know, maybe a, a good basic introduction, but not terribly useful. And uh, after a bit of work from her, uh, you can see there's an info box over to the right here and uh, an extensive introduction. Uh, looks like we're off the screen a little bit. But uh, you can see their photos and just a, a great deal of information and, and then you can also see how many references she used uh, to improve the article. Uh, so let's okay. So, uh, so here's, this is the ambassador program that I just mentioned. Uh, we've, we've, uh, we've made a distinction between online ambassadors and campus ambassadors. Um, this is sort of a way to tap both the enthusiasm of students or Wikipedians who have a desire to engage directly in the classroom, do presentations in a college class, make themselves available in person to help students, uh, and also uh, Wikipedians who either don't live close to a university that's participating or they're not so interested in personal con contact, but you know, face to face, but they're happy to support people through web chat or through email or through interacting on the talk pages of the articles. Uh, and we found a really rich interaction between those, those two groups. Uh, the next major project is, is the Bookshelf Project, which in many ways has been closely tied with the Public Policy Initiative. Uh, the book, Bookshelf Project has been a, a, pro, uh, a project to develop print and online resources that help people get, uh, get, get acclimated to Wikipedia. Um, there's a screenshot here of, uh, of one of the, uh, of the How Does Wikipedia Work, which is the first of the, uh, of the items in the bookshelf project. This particular one is, uh, I believe, a 16-page uh, document that uh, takes this, this character, Sarah, and her questions about Wikipedia and provides answers. So it gives someone a, a basic overview of how they might start to engage with Wikipedia with the understanding that there's much more detailed information out there once they get past that first step. Um, with the bookshelf project, we've, we've had um, We've had volunteers uh, already begin to translate the documents. Here's a, a screenshot of the, um, the Arabic translation of the Welcome to Wikipedia guide. Uh, and also we've, uh, we've made efforts to involve our uh, volunteer community in producing these documents. So here's a, a photo of uh, some volunteers that we brought in from all over the world to work on developing screencasts about Wikipedia and, uh, and establish a wiki project uh, that that would help other Wikipedians engage in making screencasts like that. Uh, and then the, the article creation improvement project is an effort to, uh, to make, make it easier and more friendly to create an uh, account on Wikipedia. Um, as uh, Frank Schulenberg, uh, my boss who, uh, who came up with this idea likes to say on Facebook in a, the message that you're greeted with when you, uh, when you go to start an account is welcome, we want you here. Uh, and on our, I don't know if you can see this, it's fairly dark, but on, um, you know, on Wikipedia, this is his representation of like the danger, the skull and crossbones, the fire, the, you know, the dragons that can come at you if you, uh, <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing. It, you know, really might send a message that we don't really want you here unless you're, you know, really very special. So uh, we have a bunch of people taking a look at that and how can we make it a, a more welcoming process when people take their first steps with Wikipedia. 
Um, finally, I just want to mention a few related things at the foundation. Everything I've been talking about is the public outreach department at the foundation, but outreach takes a lot of different forms. So I just want to briefly mention uh, our fundraising team is, uh, is making efforts to involve volunteers and chapters at, uh, at a higher level. Uh, we have a new global development department, which, uh, is, which is engaged with making uh, strong outreach efforts in India, Brazil, and the Arab, Arabic-speaking world. Uh, we have a user experience department, which is focused on improving the software interface of Wikipedia and the various Wikimedia projects and the, the ease of use. And uh, also in our technology department, uh, there are efforts to, uh, to improve the experience of software developers and the interac interactions between staff and volunteers. So. That's what I have for you today. Uh, again, the outreach.wikimedia.org site is, uh, is probably your best resource if you want to follow up on any of this. Uh, and here's some contact info as well. Uh, and just finally, I'd like to say thank you and congratulations to Wikimedia France and everyone who made this excellent event possible.